guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So I'm just back in from Lidl. I've done a full weekly shop and I want to show you what I've got as well as then like a second part of this video. I'm going to actually put all the items I'm going to need for each meal of this week. I'll just give you an idea for like what we normally eat in a week. Just maybe different food ideas, meal ideas. I mean these are like four or five kind of go-to dinners for us. But yeah, I will show you all the ingredients you need. I'll lay it out and put it on screen saying what you need to do. And I'll also leave any details in the description box below for like instructions if you want to make any of these meals. So I have spent £60, which is bang on target for me. £60.99 it was for this full food shop. But I managed to get some food, some snacks, lunch things. Um, I've also got nappies and dishwasher tablets and stuff. So yeah, I think I did pretty well today and I want to show you what we've got. So if you'd like to see that then just stay tuned. Let me just start over here. I've got some cheese curls which have already been demolished, two packets of them, uh, and also some party rings. These are just like snacks that the kids have kind of like mid-afternoon um, and I always get them from Lidl when I'm in. Um, I also got some bananas which again two have been eaten <laughs> when they were in the trolley which was fine. Um, I've also got some bacon. I always get back bacon and um, try and get the one that's not got a lot of fat on it so that's fine. Um, I also got some jammy dodgers. These are the mega pack. They had them for a pound so they're kind of good for the kids just to have one um, and they feel like it's a good treat. Um, I always put these in Charlie's um, nursery bag so he gets these for lunch so it's just chocolate covered rice cakes. There's three in a pack as well so I normally just split them up. Um, sandwich thins because they're only 100 calories for one so it's quite good at the weekend to have that with some bacon. Um, I also got some of these like little circular chicken breast slices because the kids like these kind of like having as a lunchable so they have them with some crackers and like a bit of fruit and stuff it's good for a lunch time. These are good for wraps they're just handy to have in packs of like marinated chicken breast slices so I've got those and um, some tuna chunks so I'll make like baked potatoes or I'll do like tuna pasta um, or just in its own is quite nice as well. I've also got some grated cheese three sweet and soya milks because we're trying to cut down a lot of the dairy that we're having in here. I know I've just shown you cheese but I don't have a lot of that. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going for soya milk and I have soya milk with my protein shakes so that's why I've got that one. I picked these up for the kids. They're multivitamin juices with vegetables. My kids don't actually eat a lot of veg. It's really sad. They just, they're really quite a nightmare with it. They love fruit but veg is not their strong point so I'm going to actually look and see what they've made these with. It says 12 fruits and vegetables and then I'm going to try and do my own. I also got them a little beef lasagna to share just one night for dinner because we we're planning on having like a spicy, maybe like a fajitas or whatever so they can have that instead. And also some garlic bread, that's the really just fat one. Just noticed that there. Um, and then moving down here, I've also got a chicken and gravy pie because they're quite easy to have in. Again, the kids, like I would maybe half that and then give them that for dinner two nights um, with like vegetables. They'll eat maybe carrots and stuff with dinner, but they're rubbish with raw veg. <laughs> so got that. And we've had this one before. The box a bit bash. It looks a bit unappetizing, but it is good. And then I've got some spring onions, some carrots. I've got some chestnut mushrooms which is for a meal that I'll tell you in a second. Uh, I've got some red onion, I've got some beef meatballs, I've got some still water. I actually wasn't intending on buying this but they needed a drink when we were in there and these were right next to me so I just grabbed them. Um, I've got some chopped tomatoes for the meatballs. I've got two packs of six chicken breast fillets which is for all of us. I've got a sweet potato which is good for sweet potato chips or if we want to make mash. I've got cherry tomatoes, avocado, parsley, they all go together for my guacamole. Um, and then I've got some peppers, chilies, lime, fine beans. These are the good ones because you don't need to really cut them that much because they're kind of pre-cut but they're all like very symmetrical which I really enjoy. Um, over here I've got some Dijon mustard and some creme fraiche, new potatoes, penny pasta, I got the gold tea bags out of here. Now I am very much a Twinings everyday kind of gal, but this is all that they had. So I got these. Um, basmati rice, spinach for my protein shakes because you can't really taste it when it's in there. And I also need this for my meatballs, so I would chug over there. Um, I've got some plain tortilla wraps. I've got the mini ones because so, you can have more. You have three of these and feel like you've had loads. So I've got two packs of those. Peppers, I think I've said. I got some fajita seasoning. This one's actually really good if you like fajitas. Um, 
I tend to buy this one quite often. It's kind of medium heat, it's not too not too hardcore either, so that's a good one. Um, I've also got some dishwasher tablets because I needed some. I've got some deodorant for Fraser and also some bedtime pants for Charlie just because we're not toilet trained through the night quite yet so um, I just put these on just in case. It's a very quick overview of everything that I've picked up. Now what I'm going to do is put all the snacky things away and actually show you what we're going to eat this week for meals. I think there's five Pretty sure there's five in there, um, but yeah, let's just get started and I'll show you what we're having. Okay, so the first meal I'm going to show you is the Joe Wicks meatballs. These are amazing, so all you need to do is get yourself some meatballs. I never got the lean ones, I just got the regular meatballs because that's all they had. So I picked up these. Basically just pop in some chopped tomatoes into a frying pan, get them nice and warm and then what you want to do is put in the meatballs. And then you cover it with another pan or a large plate and let them kind of steam with the chopped tomatoes and then the, the heat of the pan cooks the meatballs but it kind of steams them so that the inside ends up really well cooked which is great. First of all, I forgot to say, fry off some onion and then do that step. And then just boil some spaghetti, I've lost a bit more in the cupboard. When you're done, you want to get yourself some spinach and put it through the meatball and tomato mixture that you've got. Um, put in some garlic as well and if you want a wee kick to it you could always put in some chilli too but it's so easy, very very quick and it's also really good for you too. I am going to have a chicken stir fry so what you want to do is get yourself some carrots. You want to grate these and then put them into a wok. Some mixed peppers, half of a lime, some of this ketchup mayonnaise stuff which is amazing from m &S. you only need a teaspoon of that. Um, some soy sauce and honey um, and you also want to put in some spring onions. You can put in chilli, it's optional and then we make it with chicken. So all those ingredients together with the chicken and then we basically have that with just these basmati rices that you get. But what we tend to do is see the rest of the onion that we're not using, we cut it up and save it and put it through the rice raw and it really makes the dinner. So yeah, that is another wee meal, so that's our chicken stir fry. This was actually a HelloFresh recipe that we keep remaking. You usually do it with turkey, but we're going to do it with chicken this time. This next one is amazing and it's another Joe Wicks recipe. It's Joe's chicken pie um, with a twist. So we basically have chicken, you need to dice that and then just like fry it off and then add in some chestnut mushrooms and then top it with double cream. We also tend to chop up a few potatoes into there as well. And then what you want to do is transfer that mixture with a bit of garlic in it and some chicken stock into like a pie dish and then top it with either some puff pastry or he uses phyllo pastry. Um, and it is absolutely amazing. Some onions as well. It's just a really, really good dinner. In here is extremely straightforward. It is like a chicken, tarragon and potatoes dish. So all you have to do is get your chicken dress and then fillet it into a butterfly and um, pan fry it and then you want to add in a tablespoon of the Dijon mustard along with an equal measure, another tablespoon of creme fraiche and then you want to get your green beans, boil them and then get your new potatoes, cut them into pieces, putting them in some fry light and some salt and pepper and get them in the oven to make like roasties. Um, and then when you're done, what you do is you take the chicken out, put it into the creme fraiche and Dijon mustard mix um, to heat it, so don't have it going too hot. And then you top it with some tarragon. I've got some dried tarragon in my spice and herbs cupboard. So it's really easy, lovely meal, and it's definitely one of our favourites because it's not too fussy. An absolute classic for us, we have this maybe every other week, is fajitas. So again, chicken breast, the fajita seasoning. I think we kind of all know how fajitas work. Um, you just want to fry off the chicken within the fajita seasoning with some peppers and some onions. So I've got frozen onion in the freezer which saves me all the time. And then if you want to be a little bit extra special then you can always go and look at my steak fajitas video that I did maybe about two months ago now. And I make my own guacamole and it is absolutely to die for. So you'll need some cherry tomatoes and also an avocado and some parsley and oil. It is honestly so good. So check that out. There'll be a card on the screen just now where you can go and look at that. And of course we use plenty of beer wraps to make them up. Sour cream and salsa in the fridge as well so we can do that. But these are such a good dinner. Very easy and also very friendly if you've got pals coming round for dinner as well. I'm actually missing some treats so for this dish but this is again another favourite of mine and it is a dish that was made by a local restaurant here. One of the chefs in the restaurant made this and I think everyone in this area remakes this particular pasta. So all you need to get is some chicken breast. You just want to cut them into little chunks, just like dice it. 
and then cover it in some Cajun seasoning and then boil some penny pasta at the side and once your chicken is browned off in a pan you just add in some chilies and also some red onion and some chorizo and um, then obviously I don't have any chorizo but I will pick some up when I'm making this and then at the very end when that's all kind of cooked together your pasta is ready to go you top it with some double cream and um, which is obviously very indulgent but you don't need much of it and um, top it with some double cream just to give you a sauce and I'm telling you now that is the absolute best pasta ever. Um, oh, add in some chilies. Forgot to say, add in some chilies and also some salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. Um, yeah, amazing. Such a gorgeous chicken pasta, and it's very, very simple to make. So, guys, that is the end of my haul, and also just kind of explaining through what meals we're having for the week. I do hope you enjoy watching this. If you want to go over to my Instagram, then I will do stories and save them to my food highlights so that you can see each of these in action. So, hopefully, by the time you go to Instagram, this video will have been up and the meals will have been eaten and I'll have them all saved on there. So make sure you go over there and check it out. And if you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.